Hello YouTube, I'm APC, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you a little about spriting. This would be the first spriting tutorial. Now there are two ways you can follow these tutorials. I I've said earlier that there are three types, the spriting, programming, and level design. And you can either follow one type or all of them. So if you wanted to follow the spriting tutorials, you just follow this one, then go from here to the second, to the third, to the fourth, and the fifth. I have five spriting programming tutorials, but I only have three level design tutorials. So if you're following all of them, you need to do spriter program level design and keep following that order only. The level designs, the first one is the same as the first spriting and programming, but the second one would be the same as the third programming or spriting. So just keep that in mind. Now without further ado, let's start the tutorial. Now for this tutorial, as always, you need advanced mode and you shall not need pro. Just open up the file you got from the Catch the Clown tutorial. So today we're going to be making four sprites. Two monster sprites and invisible wall sprite and, a, and the human sprite. Now the only real sp sprites that are going to be tough will be the two monster sprites because the, the human sprite and the invisible wall sprite will both be what we call alpha sprites and we'll go into that more later. Right click on sprite, create sprite. Call this one SPR monster one. Click edit sprite. Click this to add a set image. It should be on 32. Make sure it's on 32. Click this one to zoom in. And so what we want to do first, we want to make a plus going along the exact center. We'll we'll be using this as a reference line. All right. So turn your grid on and count 16 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Count 16 down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And we're doing 16 because that's half 32. So this will be the exact center. Select a line tool. Therefore this, the plus going along the exact center. Now, in previous versions of GameMaker, if you wanted to get rid of something like this, you need to use the background color, but since there's no background color in GameMaker 8, what you need to do is you need to get your selection tool, make a box around it, and press delete. What I'm visualizing for this monster sprite is to reference point right down here and make a line going from there to there. Kind of think of it as a, a little star. So let's count from the center right here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, th three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Select your line tool and make the lines as I described earlier. And We want this sprite to be red and blue in the end. So in order to avoid having to manually just draw over all these black ones, I'm going to show you a little trick. Select red as your color, then select this tool. Okay. What this will do is, if I click on a black color with my left mouse button, it will change all the black color to that color. If I click on it with the right mouse button, it will change that color. So try that see you get the idea this can be really useful since like as I said earlier you won't have to fill every single thing in manually if you just want to change the colors around okay now click on this and let's select a blue color with this tool fill that in alright that's our first monster doesn't look much like a monster but it'll it'll pass. Let's make our second monster. So right click on sprites, create sprite. SPR monster 2. Click edit sprite. Add new sub image. Double click. Let's zoom in. Make sure your grid is on. Again, let's make the reference lines using the color black. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 
2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. All right, so now it's like this button. The polygon, the rounded rectangle, the circle, and the square have these three settings and these. These would be the thickness of the edge of your shape. These settings would say whether you want just an outline, an outline with your other color filled in, or all filled in. Now in this case, we're going to select this rounded square and with this color where you have an outline and the other colors filled in. So as your primary color, select green. Secondary color, select blue. So we're going to be making a plus here, or make it a thicker plus, so let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six is a good number. And let's make sure it's the same distance from over here, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Do the same thing over here. One, two, three, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And to fill it in, we'll select the square tool and select that color. Or, sorry, select that setting and take that away. Just by right clicking. Okay, so that's our other monster. So that's the only real learning part. Now we're going to create two alpha sprites. Alpha sprites are sprites that usually programmers make when they don't have time to go into making real detail and just do this so they can see, see whether it works or not. So right click, click create sprite, call SPR human, click edit, edit, click edit sprite, add some image, little click, zoom in. So I said this can be really simple. Use the fill in tool, right click, use pencil tool, make it a little thicker, and just make a quick smiley face. There. Alpha sprite. So you can tell it apart from other things, it's obviously not a wall, and it's really quick. So let's right click, create sprite, call this one SPR INV wall. Okay, add sprite. INV stands for invisible, so the sprite really doesn't matter anyway. The main thing for this sprite is to collision checking. So, just filled in with green. Okay. Okay. The human sprite we're going to be making more complex in other tutorials. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions about this video or any other of my videos, you can private message me on YouTube. You can email me at apc at sinforge.co.cc. Or you can join our website at sinforge.co.cc and ask me there. Again, thanks for watching. We'll see you later.